In this video, let us see how to create your own image file extensions. Basically, there are two popular file extensions. The first one is the JPEG images and the second one is the PNG images. But here you can see we have created our own image file extensions. That is the image.kumaration. Here .kumaration is the file extension that we have created now. When we open up that image, you can see that no software will understand this. But for that, I have created my own for software to open this image. So before we deal with that, let's try to open up the base image. So from this JPEG image, I have created my customized image. So this is the base image. This is just a photo of your fighter jet. To open up the uh, customized extension image, I have created this image custom image viewer software. With the help of this software, you can open any image extension I'm gonna create with our uh, tutorial. Let's open that uh, software now. So this is the software. You can see that it specifically open up the .kumaration file extension. Let's open this image in the software now. Click on open .kumaration file. So let's go to the directory that have the image. Let's open up the image here. You can see now the software successfully open up the image. So let's try to open up the JPEG image also to see the comparison. Here you can see image quality is not decreased. It is same as the JPEG images. Not only .kumaration, you can also create your own image that have your name. For example, image.xyz, image.abcd, you can create any image. So let us see how to create this uh, customized image file extension. Let's get started. For this, we need two libraries. The first one is the pillow and the second one is the uh, suck. So we will have to install the pillow now. Open your terminal and type pip install pillow. You can see that it says requirement already satisfied. That means we are good to go. Let's import the uh, libraries now. So before we proceed here, we need to have images. Let's try to download some images now. Just go to the Google and type JPEG images. I'm going to download this Panda image. I'm going to save this image to the folder. So let's rename this image now. So this will be image2.jpg. Now we have the image, right? Let's try to open this in the VS Code. You can see that this is the image. So let's try to import our libraries that we have installed now. The first one is the pillow, that is the import pill. The second one is the suck. The suck is used for uh, working on the binaries data. So we will have to convert the pixels of the image into one binary data. We don't need a fill. We only need the image model from the pillow. So from pill, we are going to import the image. So basically, we are going to use our own encoding and decoding for the image. We are not going to change the file extension like you see in many tutorials. We are going to create our own encoding and decoding methods. So let's get started. So let's create a function now. The function name will be convert JPEG images to custom images. So this will take two parameters. The first one is the base image that is any JPEG image or PNG image. And the second one is the output name where you want to save uh, the output name for your image. So let's uh, work on this function later. But before that, let's try to uh, define the input image and also the output image part so input image equal to so input jpeg equal to since both my image and the python file are located in the same location i will provide the relative path only so input jpeg equal to image to dot jpeg so this is my image location let's also define the output image location so just give you a name for your output output name equal to in this case i'm gonna give testing or tutorial or you can say testing for video dot Here you can see you can replace this with your own uh, name also. Testing for video dot. Or uh, you can replace it with uh, like X Y Z. Or you can say anything, anything you like. So I'm gonna give testing for video dot This is our file extension that we're gonna create. So let's call the function with these inputs now. So input uh, JPEG. So this will be J now. Input JPEG, let's also rename this to the argument. And the second parameter is the output name. So let's try to work on the function now. First, we're gonna open the image now. Image equal to, we're gonna use the image from the pillow, image.open and the image. Now we have the image, we need to get the RGB values from the image. So RGB image equal to image.convert, we're gonna convert this image to the RGB values. So RGB stands for the red, green, and blue. So we need the image in the RGB so that we can work on. Once we have the RGB image, we can get the pixels. So before we get the pixels, we need the width and height of the image. To get that, we're going to use the 
size uh, function now. So with height equal to image dot size. This will return to parameters and we're gonna store that in the width and height variable. Once we have the width and height, we can get the pixels. So pixel equal to image dot. So that is the RGB image dot. So RGB image dot get data and we're gonna store this in the list of data type. So it will return series of pixel values and we're gonna store this in the list format. Once we have the pixels in the list format, we can look through the each pixel and we're gonna convert the pixel into a binary file. So before that, we'll have to store the binary data, right? For that, I'm gonna create a array now, byte array. That is the binary pixel equal to byte array. So we're gonna convert the pixels into each binary form and store this into this binary pixel for uh, array. Now we have the binary pixel array. So let's look through individual pixels now. For pixel data in pixel, first we're gonna extract the RGB values from the pixel. So each pixel data has here three values. The first one is the red, green, and blue. So we're gonna unpacking the values into these variables. So once we have these three values, RGB values from the individual pixels, we can uh, store this into this binary pixel. To convert this uh, binary pixel dot extend, we're gonna extend this each values to this pixel at the last to convert this by, by uh, pixel into this binary form that's why we have uh, imported the second uh, library called the sac with the help of this sac we can work on the uh, binary values so sac dot pack so sac dot pack we're gonna pack the uh, three binaries that is that you can see that we have these three values and we're gonna uh, convert this to the three binary values each has the one byte so that's why we have the give three byte so rgb and pass the three variables that is the rgb so now we have the uh, pixels into this binary form we can open up the newly created image now with open so this will be output name and we're gonna open this in the uh, right binary form since we are working with binary we're gonna open the image in the binary mode as well so we're gonna open that image as file now file dot write share that is uh, this is where our encoding begins we're gonna first encode with the header value the header contains the width and height when decoding the image when loading the image we're gonna check the header values that is if the header that we have uh, encode now is equal or not so based on this we're gonna uh, easily identify if this image is recognized or not even if you replace this with your own extension that is the testing for video that XI is there or any extension based on this encoding we can actually uh, open that image so let's try to give the header values now for the header value we're gonna just give the width and height for simplicity so stack dot pack so we're gonna uh, give two integer values the integer values will be head and width we're gonna convert the head and width into its equivalent binary form using this struct sub dot pack now we have created the header now we can write the binary pixel data so this is our actual image so file dot write binary pixels now we have uh, successfully converted the image into its equivalent binary form let's try to save the image now print successfully converted the image to the custom file extension so this is it so let me reiterate the procedure now first we are converting the pixel into its binary form uh, once we have the pixels into its binary form we're gonna use the encoding method as first the header will be the width and height the width and height will also should be in the binary form for that we're gonna use the sort that pack we're gonna pack into its in two integer values that's why we have give two i once we write the for header to the file we can then uh, write the binary pixels that is our actual image content once we write the binary pixels that means we have successfully created our image that's why we have print a message successfully converted the URL. Uh, custom image format so let's try to run this file now here you can see successfully converted to the custom image uh, format here you can see a new file has been created testing for video dot accumulation if you open the image you can see that it says uh, unsupported file type let's try to open that image into our GUI software that we have created so here you can see so let's go to the custom image folder this is our newly created custom file extension let's open this into the uh, our customized software let's open uh, just click on open dot accumulation file let's open this image now when you open that image here you can see now we got successfully got our panda back into our action now so this is it 
This is how you create your own file extension using this uh, simple uh, encoding method. When you open the image normally, as you can see, it says unknown type, but with the help of this software only, we can able to view that image. Now let us see how to view that so customized image format that you have created here. You can see when we open that Im image in the GUI format, it successfully opens that up. Let us see how, how the background process of this, how this uh, software is able to view this customized image extension. So let's see that now. Here you can see when we open this uh, file, you can see that it successfully opened the image. Let us see how this is successfully doing this. For this, let's create a newly created Python file now. I'm going to create a load custom.py. This is our new Python file now. Again, let's import the libraries. The first one is the pillow. So from pill, we're going to import the image. And we also need the uh, struct for unpacking the binaries that we have encoded in the first uh, step. Let's create a function now that will load the image for us. So this will be load custom image. This will take the path of the custom image. So for now, let's uh, pass it now. The image file location will be so custom image file location equal to or we can simply say file path equal to so both my python file and the file path in the same location i am gonna provide the relative location only so testing for video dot conversation so now we have a file path let's call the function now so load custom let's pass the file path now so that's it let's try to work on the function now so let's open this file in the read binary mode here you can see we are encoded this in the first step so we have the width and height as a header in the start of the image. We'll have to check the header and the height so that we can know that it is the image that we have created. If a header in the image, you can see the file that right. We're gonna we have uh, passed this uh, width and height as a binary to the image header. So let's try to extract that now. So before that, let's open the image now. So with open, so this will be custom image, and we're gonna open this in the read binary mode. So this will be as file. So the header equal to file dot. We're gonna extract the first eight bytes. That is the width and the height. Each it takes the four bytes. So file dot read. We're gonna take the eight bytes. You can see that the width and height. So this is the header that we have uh, encoded into the image at the start of the process. So you can see that we have converted this uh, width and height in each binary form and load it into the image. So we'll have to extract that file that it will extract the header for us. The header each contains the width and height. That is the width contains 4 bytes and height contains 4 bytes. Once we have the header, we can see the length of the header is equal to or 8 or not. If it is not 8, that means unsupported file format. If it is 8, then we can process further. So with the height equal to, we can extract that by struct that unpack. So we can unpack the binaries from this uh, header now. So this will be, you can see the beauty of this struct library. You can see that we have uh, used the pack to convert the width and height into its binary form. Now we are using the unpack to get the width and heights from the binary values. Now we have the width and height. Let's try to get the pixels, total pixel data equal to, or we can say total pixel size equal to, we're gonna multiply the width and height to get the area of the image. Each pixel contains three bytes. We're gonna multiply it by the three. So let's try to add a comment here. Each pixel has a byte of three. So that's why we are multiplying it by three. RGT, you can see that each pixel has a three values, uh, red, blue, and gray. That's why it can uh, takes through three values. Now we have the total pixel size. We need to get the pixel data. So pixel data equal to file it or read, we are going to read the email, uh, remaining values other than the header. So file it or read, total pixel size, pass that now. Once we have the pixel data, we can check the total pixel size is equal to the pixel data. If it is not, then we are going to write a value error, pixel data not mix max. So if length of total pixel size is not equal to the pixel data, then we are going to write a value error. So raise the value error now. Pixel data mismatch. Once we got the pixel data, we can start building our individual pixels. So pixels equal to, we're gonna pass this into the list now. And we're gonna unpack the pixel data from the binary to use actual pixel data, that is the RGP values. 
So we're gonna use the similar step circle.iter unpack since we are going to unpack the individual values from a loop. So we're gonna use the iter unpack and inside that we're gonna pass the three bits that is for the RGP and the pixel pass the pixel data. So here for the command we are we are converting the binary pixel data to the RGP values. Once we have the pixel into its RGP, we can create the image, image equal to image dot new and we want the image in the RGP and pass the width and height. Once we have the image, we can create the image from its pixels. So image dot put data and pass the pixel, uh, pixel values. Once we have the image created from these pixels, we can return the image. So now we have the image, let's try to store this return value into a image variable. I'm gonna use the if so value, if image exists, then we're gonna call the image dot show function. This will load up the image for us. So if image exists, then we're gonna call the image dot show function. So let's try to click on the play button. So we got a error here. This will be not length of total pixel size. This will be just pixel size. Let's try to remove the parentheses as well. Now when you read on the uh, Python script now, you can see that it successfully displays the image. So you can see that this is how the GUI application works. It checks for the hidden height and if the hidden height matches, then it returns the, you get the uh, other values from the pixels. Once we got the pixel values, we can be able to create a image from the pixels values. If you go to the GUI Python script, you can see that this is what we are doing in the GUI path as well. So if you run the GUI applications, let's try to open up the image now. You can see that it successfully displays the image without disturbing the quality of the image. So this is it. Let's try to click on the exist button now. You can get the source code of this uh, GUI application in the description. You can get the source code there and run it your own application and create a new file extension for yourself. You can create your own file extension or like the image.xy or anything related to your name or even your name so this is it this is how you create your image file extension with just this as uh, simple program so this is it this is for this video and i will continue in the next one